Childbirth embodies a mix of pain, courage, fear, strength, and vulnerability. While it brings new life, the process itself poses a significant threat to women's lives. A recent report by the Integrated African Health Observatory and the World Health Organization shows that despite a global decline, Sub-Saharan Africa shoulders a staggering burden. With 531 deaths per 100,000 live births, the region accounts for over two-thirds of maternal deaths worldwide. Welcome back to Africa Science Focus, the weekly science and development show from SciDevNet. I'm Ogeche Kianyao. In continued celebration of the International Women's Month, this week in our Science Explained series, our reporter Busola Ajibola explored the issue of maternal mortality and its impact on the African continent. Maternal mortality is a serious public health concern in sub-Saharan Africa, with countries like South Sudan, Chad and Nigeria each reporting more than 1,000 deaths per 100,000 live births, according to the World Health Organization. Dr. Eli Sukarimi, Associate Professor and Consultant Obstetrics and Gynecologist at the River State University and Teaching Hospital in Nigeria, joins us to explain maternal mortality and the ambitious WHO target to reduce it to less than 70 deaths per 100,000 live births by 2030. Okay, maternal mortality or the death of a woman in pregnancy within 42 days of being pregnant or as a result of diarrhea or aggravation of the pregnancy, irrespective of the site and duration of the pregnancy, but not due to accidental or incidental causes. That is the WHO definition of uh, maternal mortality. So if the pregnancy is two, two months or one month or a topic pregnancy, it is called maternal mortality. But if a woman happens to die suddenly during accidents, it is counted out of maternal mortalities. Uh, maternal mortality is a tragedy, and uh, the world has put a peg to reduce maternal mortality by 70 per 100,000 life pets. To listen to the rest of this podcast episode, click on the link in the description below.